Greetings, friends. David Marks here with a new video tutorial for you. We are blessed to live in interesting times. Right now, we are witnessing a revolution in digital photography as the world begins to move from desktop to cloud-based photo storage. To their credit, Adobe is leading this charge, but they have not made it easy for the average photographer to understand what's going on. So today, let me explain how two of Adobe's products, two products with ridiculously similar names differ and how this relates to your photography. The software that I want to talk about first today is called Adobe Lightroom. Wherever you see or hear the words Adobe Lightroom, just this two word phrase at adobe.com, then Adobe sales department is talking about the new cloud-based image storage ecosystem that they have been developing for about three years. In contrast, whenever you see or hear the much longer phrase, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic, then Adobe is talking about an entirely different animal. Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic is the latest version of the desktop-focused image storage program that Adobe has been developing for the past decade. For those of you who know me or have taken a workshop from me in the past, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic is probably the program that I taught. Although these two programs share a common name, and although their image editing features are almost identical, these two types of Lightroom are not meant to be used together. You can pick option A or option B, but there is no all of the above at this point. Trying to use both of these programs at the same time is likely to end badly. Since this is a binary choice, let's dig into what the phrases cloud-based versus desktop-focused really mean. Desktop focus, the classic option here, means that you, the photographer, are 100% responsible for your own file storage and backup plans. The easiest way to see what desktop focus means is inside of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic's import dialog. When I ask Lightroom Classic to copy new images from my camera's memory card into my image library, then this window pops up. At the top right of this window is an important box where I need to tell Lightroom Classic where it should store my new photographs for me. When I click here, I can pick any location inside of my computer or one of my external hard drives. I can choose to keep my photos in my computer's pictures folder. I can choose to keep my new photos on an external disk. But what I can't do here is to choose to keep any of my photos on Adobe servers. That's what the classic, meaning the old school part of the name, signifies. In the classic model of file storage, there was no online option, and thus all of our image processing and storage happens within our computer. If I choose to use Adobe Lightroom, the cloud-based application instead then, and I pop in the same memory card, then a very different import dialog box appears. In this dialog box, there are no options for where to store these images, because with this type of Lightroom, everything is stored on Adobe servers for you. After I begin the import process in Adobe Lightroom, the cloud-based program, then you can see this little symbol here. This is the uploading symbol, and while it's spinning, these files are being transferred into my account at adobe.com. Now that you understand this fundamental difference in the way that these two flavors of Lightroom operate, let's talk briefly about some of the advantages and disadvantages of each type of Lightroom. One of the greatest advantages to cloud-based storage has got to be the ability to access your images from any internet-connected device anywhere in the world through the lightroom.adobe.com portal. Likewise, if working on your photography with any computer, smartphone, or tablet appeals to you, then the Adobe Lightroom the cloud-based version is the way to go, since once your files are on the server, they can sync with any portable device. The other great advantage here is simplicity. Because Adobe is responsible for your image storage, Adobe Lightroom Cloud-based is much easier to learn and much simpler than its desktop-focused cousin. If you're just starting out with digital photography, or if you're a hobbyist, someone who shoots for fun, but does not need a lot of extra complexity in your life, then Adobe Lightroom, the cloud-based program, is probably the better option for you. If, on the other hand, you are a very experienced Lightroom user, or if you already have an enormous library of images, then Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic is probably the better choice for you. If your image library currently consists of more than, say, 20,000 photos, particularly raw images from a high megapixel camera, then Uploading all of that data to Adobe servers with an average speed internet connection is going to be a huge hassle. 
Likewise, for the professional wedding portrait and time-lapse photographers out there, or for those of you with a real passion for, say, inkjet printing, then Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic currently has some distinct advantages. Now, I'm not here to tell you which type of Lightroom is better. I truly believe that both of these programs have their strengths and their weaknesses, but I need to make it clear that you can transition from Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic over the cloud-based Adobe Lightroom at any point if you want to. Transitioning from Lightroom Classic to the cloud-based Lightroom is not hard, but sadly, this is a one-way street. Once you go to cloud-based storage, there really isn't an easy way right now to switch everything back over to Classic if you change your mind. So to end this video, let me offer this advice. Do your research. Think hard about which program best suits your needs before you leap into either option. Well, that's really all I can say for now. I hope that you found this short video helpful. If so, please hit the subscribe button and leave us a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.